day as days. God is a faithful God. You see, not long after Jesus had the communion with his disciples, he looked at them and said, he said he was the true vine. He said, I am the true vine. Jesus compares himself to a vine for his tenderness, for his seemingly weakness, being subject to cutting and pruning. He says he is the true vine because he submitted to the father's pruning he he submitted to the father's cutting the vine is a fruitful tree it brings forth and bears fruit uh, in clusters so christ as a man and mediator is full of grace and truth he's the very personification of truth you see the bible says as he is so are we also in this world jesus is full of spiritual blessings and exceeding great and precious promises from him came from the vine uh, uh, from the wine of divine love of the gospel truth you see jesus said in john 15 verse 1 i am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser you see it's, i am the true vine the, the, and that presupposes the fact that there is fake, counterfeit, uh, and fabricated, uh, fictitious vines, all those who claim to be the, the right way. The purpose of the true vine is to produce branches, that, that is us, and the branches produce the fruits. Uh, so that's why God wants us to be fruitful. The fruit we produce brings honor and glory to the vine dresser and the person of God. So, ladies and gentlemen, the whole purpose of life is not to live unto ourselves, but to live to bring honor and glory to God and to our Maker. You see, when you do that, you are fulfilling your purpose. I know that sometimes we say to ourselves, it's my life, I'll do with it as I please. Uh, but I hate to bust your bubble. Uh, you, 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 you are accountable for how you live your life. Your life isn't just your life. Your life was given to you by God. And there will be a day that you'll have to give account. You and I will have to give an account of how we've lived that life. In John 15 verse 2, it says, Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. I pray that you will not lose your place in the vine. I pray that you will not be replaced, substituted, or displaced in Jesus' name. God, the, uh, the, the husband man, the gardener, the vine dresser of your life, of your soul, is interested in fruit. You are, are, are supposed to be fruitful, to bear good fruit. Jesus says, I am the branch. Uh, it says, every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. I pray that you will, be, you will not be fruitless. I pray that when he looks at you, that he will find you to be fruitful. He will identify you uh, as one that brings honor and glory to his name. The Lord wants us to be witnesses to souls and to be fruitful in every area of our life. Sometimes we're too introvert looking into my life, into my life. This is not working. That is not working. Forgetting that someone is looking. And we need to get our purposes in line with God's purpose. In John 15 verse 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. You see, the key to fruitfulness in life, in marriage, in career, in business, etc. is abiding in Christ. It's abiding in Christ. You cannot but be fruitful if you are abiding in Christ. It says in John 15 verse 7, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, then you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. So your productivity, your fruitfulness is a function of your ability to abide in Christ. The key to fruitfulness and productivity in life for the child of God is being, is being able to abide in the word of God, to abide in in and to let the word of God abide in you. So as you go about your day-to-day activities this week, I pray that the grace of God will rest upon you, that the word of God abides in you, and as you abide in the word of God, you will have total victory for every area of your life in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord establish you. It's Delo Liemi from KICC. God bless you.